Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're back with another FS22 live stream. And today we're going to be taking a look at production chains. So uh, welcome to the stream, everybody. I'm looking forward to diving into things here today. We're going to be getting right into it here. So let me uh, get everything all set up here. We, uh, I apologize. I'm running a little bit behind today not too out of the norm we were uh trying to scarf down some lunch before we got started here so we're all good to go and we have am i on i'm on the wrong camera we adjusted the heat settings here on our camera so hopefully it's not going to uh overheat as we go through things today so let's try that one out and uh we'll get going here Joffrey looking a little scrappy. Yes, sir. We uh, my whole household is down sick right now So I was running around dealing with the kids and the wife and stuff this morning She's doing a little bit better now And so she's trying to uh, do her part help out and watch the kids this weekend, but uh, uh, She's been uh, not feeling well under the weather. So we're running around like crazy It's DJ modding in the house. Good to see you, man. We've uh, already started to play around with mods uh, behind the scenes here. So tonight I'll talk a little bit more about um, what I've learned about modding in FS22. Um, I will say there's changes. Uh, XML stuff has changed quite a bit uh, for some different things. And so especially the way the stores and different things work um, and the, the build and the placeable system and all of that stuff has changed a lot of, I would say relatively simple stuff, um, textures and things like that have changed quite a bit as well. And so we're, we're playing around with that. Um, and so maybe we'll look at that a little bit in tonight's live stream, but I guess I'll show it off as long as, uh, um, I had left it in this save, but I've got, you know, the first FS 22 mod working here on my, uh, on my end, so of course we're gonna put the Kedrick Farms uh, sign in the game as our first mod. So let's uh, let's dive into it here, though, and see what's uh, what's going on. So today I've started yet another new game for this because it, in each of our last live streams, we I feel like we have completely destroyed uh, the game and left equipment all over the place in a rush to try things out. And so today we're gonna be doing some stuff with production chains. And as I've done in my other streams, we're just trying out different pieces of equipment. I thought today would be a good day to uh, give this case combine a try here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just start a worker off on this field because we're gonna need some materials for our production chains. And we'll buy a few other fields and some other equipment just to get the components that we need here. And so I'm going to leave this guy uh, here and running. And I think looking at the production chains, we'll start with something simple. You can do, there's some of the chains that go, you know, all the way through the process. And in fact, I can bring up the production chain graphic here real quick. Might be a good thing to take a look at if I can figure out where I left that window. Uh, maximize on monitor. There we go. It's on the wrong window. And if I change my view here for everybody to be able to see, you guys should be able to see my production chain uh, window here. So something like a bakery requires inputs from everything just about the grain mill, the sugar mill, the greenhouse, the dairy, we're going to stay away from that one to start with because that would take a long time to set all up all the set up all the components for that. I think instead we're going to try and do something with the cereal factory here. I think we can bring in the um, necessary components here and see how that goes. So that's my goal. We're going to find the cereal factory. I'm pretty sure there's one on the map here and we're going to jump in and give that a shot. And uh, I apologize, we'll try and keep up with the uh, chat a little bit better today. So, Jake's, Jacob's Home and Garden, is it true that you pre-order FS22? It'll be available a day early. If you ordered from the Giants website, 
you will get to access it around 6 p.m. Eastern time on Sunday night, tomorrow night. So I guess, yes, kind of true that it's going to be available a little bit earlier for um, those individuals. So looking at the map here, we've got a cereal factory here. So I'm going to jump over here and visit the cereal factory, which is uh, this building here. And if we come up here, oh, that's pretty loud. Um, and I bring up my F1 menu, I can buy the production plant. So we're going to push R and buy the cereal factory here on the map. Now, if I didn't want to buy the one that was placed on the map or I was playing on a different map, my understanding is we could come into the construction menu here, go to production, and just buy the placeable. I believe this would be the same type of placeable. Well, that's the grain mill, um, spinnery, etc. So I could buy the appropriate placeable and just put this down somewhere. Um, and in fact, maybe we'll find the grain mill. That'll be even simpler to do as one of our first uh, um, production facilities here. So we've got a dairy, we've got the train system, all the production ones have this uh, icon with the belt and the boxes moving on it here. So I'm just looking real quick to see if I can locate it. Spinnery and sawmill. It's got to be here somewhere. There's the bakery. Uh, I think there's a filter for this. Hot spots productions nope it just turns them on and off well that's interesting I, I'm surprised I'm just missing it here grain mill there we go we're up here we're gonna jump up here to the grain mill and uh, we're also gonna buy this one because I think this will be a quick addition as well Let's see if I can find the point here where you buy there we go all right so now that we've got a production facility up, we've also got a, a little bit of grain here. We're going to jump in this trailer. We're going to take this trailer load up there and start with the very first um, easiest production here, which is making flour at the grain mill. Checking up on chat, top left. Oh, thank you. I, I should have been watching chat a little bit more when we're looking around for things. You guys have uh, probably seen a few of these in uh, other, uh, other streams here at this point. I know a lot of different streamers have been covering a lot of different aspects of the game here. Have I enabled the console mode? I have, so you can uh, bring up the console here and do all kinds of things with that. Grain mill is cheaper than a highway truck to buy. <laughs> exactly. I never quite understood uh, the rationale behind uh, what some of the placeables and stuff cost in farm sim here. So before we drive up there, now that I've purchased a couple of production chains, you can see here we'll go to the grain mill because it's the easiest to start making something. We could dump our wheat, barley, oat or sorghum straight into here and start making flour. And so we're going to try and uh, check this out here um, in a minute. So we've also got the cereal factory. Now, I didn't consider the fact that the cereal factory is actually going to take raisins here, which would require us to put some grapes down. I don't know if uh, there's a section on this particular map for grapes yet. So we'll have to look around and uh, see if we can figure that out here, but we'll do the grain mill first as the easy win, and then we'll switch gears and maybe see if we can do something more complicated. It'll be fun to actually try out um, a little bit of grapes today too. We've got a couple of hours. So let's, uh, let's see if I can figure out how to get up to the grain mill here. Um, looking at the map, it's way up at the top here. Uh, I'm obviously going the wrong way, so let's uh, let's spin around here and start going the other way. 
Nicholas is there. Snow for three day seasons on FS22. <laughs> My staff team uh, cracking me up over here in the chat. Um, we're going to. Uh, uh, is snow in three day seasons? So, three day seasons is. I don't think snow really matters based on how many days the seasons is. It's just whether or not you get weather on that particular day. Um, and so right now, for example, I'm on one day seasons. And so you can see for the day that will be December as a month or it's one day per month, right? So for the month of December, I have a chance of snow. Whether or not I get snow um, remains to be seen, right? So, it, it's just kind of a question. Hey, hey, we've got uh, Lancy Boy in the chat here. Good to see you, man. Pleasant View Farms, good to see you. Watching from the calf barn, awesome. Uh, so, we're going to... I wish I could uh, adjust the size of my mini-map sometimes. we got to look at this map again. It's been a bit since we... Uh, played on a new map like this so we're gonna turn on the tagging so I've got my nice green beacon up here and uh, hopefully that'll help me figure out how to get up there a little bit easier so we're gonna just uh, we're taking this I, I believe this is our wheat right up here um, I can't wait to see how long it's gonna take to kind of process some of these materials through the production chains um, I do have my time slowed way down for the time being, just because I don't want to be um, getting into dark and different things. I want to make sure we're not speeding time up until our production chains are doing something. So let's get going on that, and then I'm actually I'm I've gotten myself all excited now that we're gonna try out uh, some grapes as well at some point. Um, I was distracted. I want to try and go through that river, but I don't want to get stuck. Oh my goodness. How did I do that? I mean, I know I'm uh, good at crashing into things, but uh, come on now. I was uh, not expecting whatever that was. My goodness. Now we are good and stuck. Come on. All right, we're going to disconnect and I'll pull forward a little bit and see. Nope. All the traffic's going to help too. So one of the things I've noticed in FS22 um, compared to FS19 is uh, I can get stuff stuck a lot easier. Like it doesn't jump around as much, but when you get hung up on something, it gets hung up on something. Um, so it's kind of a trade-off. It's a uh, good and good and bad. All right, there we go. Now we've got a thing. I'm also getting used to driving with the steering wheel, so if I leave my steering wheel turned to the side and then try to use the keyboard, uh, bad things happen. The sign said no trucks, yeah. We should have gone through the water. Jackknifing on a covered bridge, I'll have to try that exactly. I don't, like, how do you do that? Oh man, the crash counter. So we've been um, running the same crash counter since... Uh, our achievement stream, I think. I forgot to uh, reset it. We uh, crashed a number of times in that stream, so we may need to uh, we may need to reset that at some point. But we'll just keep it running. So I think we're over here. We're not stopping. Uh, but yeah, I love that little covered bridge. It looks cool. Good morning. Good to see you, Brian Oxendine. As always. Can you crash down road signs? You can. I actually have already done that. Oops. I've got a button on my steering wheel that goes first person. Which button is that? That button. Awesome. All right. So we're going to overload the wheat. Brian Oxendine with the super chat. Always good to see you. Does the select destination function not work very well yet? Uh... It works. I would say it's kind of 50-50. Um, I've, I've had mixed results with it so far. So um, I haven't used it a lot. I usually use it when I have a couple other things I need to do at the same time. 
and uh, right now we don't have that many other jobs going on. So we've put our material into the uh, production facility here. And so wheat flour is now running. If I, I'm trying to see if there's a, uh, I can bring up the production menu here. And you can see our wheat flour is gonna take 150 liters of wheat and convert that into 120 liters of flour. It's already um, doing that. And then if I click here, I can change my output mode to selling, distributing, or storing. And so my understanding of how this works is if it's on distributing, it's gonna get um, automatically distributed to other production chains that need that material versus storing is gonna keep it here until I come and get it um, versus selling obviously is just gonna sell it for the um, current price. And so if we come and look in here, I can now see, uh, or I, hopefully I can find a uh, flower and I can see the different uh, buying prices for flour. So um, flour is a pretty good price here. Do, do, do. Have you played multiplayer? We're gonna do a multiplayer live stream with uh, uh, the FarmSim guy tomorrow. And so the goal is to try out how some of these things like this actually work in uh, multiplayer. And so my hope is to get things set up, kind of get the production chains running here, and then convert this save into a multiplayer save. And then we'll see what happens, how other people can interact with these production chains in a multiplayer environment uh, tomorrow. So now at this point, this would be a great way to, now is the product worth all that trouble? Well, so that's a great question. So let's show you kind of where we're at with that. So. Right now, flour is gonna sell at 1,600 plus per, or 1,700 plus per thousand liters, where if I look at the wheat that we took in, we're only selling at about 1,000 or 1,200 here. And so if we're, we're getting a huge markup, we're getting like a $500 per thousand liter markup, and we're only losing, um, what 30 liters out of every 150 here so the markup is definitely a profit there right so it's it's worth it to put it through the production chain you are definitely increasing your money especially if you can hold on to that and save it so for example um, I can look at the price fluctuations for wheat here and you know see where my low points and my high point points are for wheat and also, you know, get kind of a handle on the same. If I look at um, flour, it looks like they're the same fluctuations on flour as wheat, which would probably make sense because they're tied together. So um, it looks uh, it looks pretty interesting to me to just kind of track some of these uh, price changes and stuff. But it takes time. Right, so I had to run this over here. Now, you know, obviously I can use the new AI system. So I'm here, I'm gonna do a set destination and just send uh, send this guy back to the farm here. And uh, he should figure that all out all by himself. Um, and then, yeah, so if we're gonna set up for cereal now, one of the first things that we need to do is get honey. So let's... Uh, as uh, DJ pointed out, we're going to need the appropriate outfit for honey. So we can come in here and put on our bee suit. Now, I can't see our outfit. I haven't found a way to go external view yet. But uh, you can change your outfit in-game, which is really cool. Uh, especially, well, there right, you can see me. But especially for multiplayer and, and stuff like that, it's going to be very, very fun. Um... And then honey is under animals and bees, I believe. And so we're going to go all out because we've got unlimited funding right now. And we're going to place this right here, um, nice and close to our farm so that we can get to it very easily. And we're going to place the 
Um, collection point here. Somewhere right in front of it. Try and find an appropriate spot. It's got to be... Oh, I'm getting the weird flickery issue again, it looks like. Um, so now our bees should start producing honey over time, which should be awesome. And then uh, what else are we going to need for this production chain if we look at cereal? Honey, we need some oats, and we need some corn. So let's take a quick look at the map here, and... I believe this is an oat field right here. So we're gonna just buy an oat field rather than uh, go through the planting process today. And then I should look also and see that oat field's actually ready for harvest. So let's uh, send our combine over there and get that going. Can you go to build mode and see yourself? You can, I think. Um, it's, you know, a little zoomed out but it works pretty good so you can kind of see what you look like which is pretty neat i got the b suit on what i don't like is and maybe i just haven't looked enough i haven't found a good way to save a like preset of my guy so what i would like to do is make my outfit because i don't want to have to come in here now and reset up my outfit every time. There's got to be a way to set up a uh, pre-made version of my guy so that I don't have to uh, monkey with this every time I want to change my outfit. So I got to look that up still and play with it a little bit. Can we process uh, a cereal that has at least two scoops of raisins? Exactly. We got to get our raisin brand on. Um, so let's, uh, let's drive this, uh, case down here to the, uh, oat field that we just bought. Um, I did, uh, turn off crop destruction here for the, uh, stream because we're just running around trying to get, uh, get things done and working here. We've got, uh, the, uh, steering on here on the um, steering wheel the force feedback and it surprises me sometimes I'm not super used to uh, having it kick back when I jump into the ditch and stuff like that So I'm gonna go ahead and get a worker started on this We kind of ruin things by starting off in the middle of the long straight row here So we'll uh, finish taking this pass off and turn around and send him back down the other way Combine is a funny shade of green for me. Exactly. Well, it's funny, you know, like, I'm obviously the John Deere fan, but uh, I feel like everybody's been using all the cool new John Deere stuff. You know, this version um, has so many more John Deere mods than previous versions of the game, and uh, nobody's showing off some of the other stuff. So we're going to jump around and have a bunch of different equipment this stream, hopefully try to use things I haven't used yet and uh, see how it goes. Ah, goodness. So let's see. Where, so now I've got my oats um, that we're harvesting for the production stuff. Let's find out if I've got some corn here somewhere. Uh, corn, we bought a cornfield here. It's not ready to harvest yet. What about field 41 or field... 30. Are either of those ready for harvest? No, they are not. So let's uh, advance time here a little bit. I have seasonal growth turned off at the moment. Um, to make life easier for showing this stuff off, I want to focus on showing the um, gameplay elements. And so I'm just double checking my settings should be good. Um, there's not like a crop speed growth speed setting or anything like that anymore so um let's see what else do we need if we've got cornfields that should pop from growth here soon we need to find us some grapes so let's do that um do we have grapes on this map grapes would be a light purple I don't see any. Now, if I recall, I'm trying to recall if you need a special area for grapes or if I can place those anywhere I want. 
So let's uh, try it out. Does the pickups have gooseneck for Kingston trailers? I don't think any of the trailer the pickups currently have um, uh, gooseneck attachments. I can jump over here and take a look at this one. I haven't actually paid attention to that, but uh, nope, there's there's no uh, no gooseneck attachments at this point. So orchards, grapes, we're going to come over here and take this field. Where's our field? I'm getting lost here. We're going to take this field area and we're going to make this an orchard. So we'll put this here and wow, is that uh, expensive. Um... So we'll do a few runs here. I'm trying to figure out how close I can put these. I guess we don't need to be too fancy here. And so I'm just going to do, I think, four runs in this field for now. Give us something to play with. That one wasn't very straight. There we go. And... That should allow us to now get the equipment we need for grapes. <clears throat> so let me see what's going on here in chat. I apologize. All this new stuff. It's hard to uh, figure out what's going on here and keep up on chat. Neat. Yep, I got to place the grapes. And now what I'm going to do is actually go in here to this PAX and we're gonna buy the grape pack uh, because this should come with everything I need for grapes. Just checking here. I'm not sure we even need most of this stuff right now, but why not? Um, can I just buy the whole pack or do I have to buy these things individually? It looks like I have to buy them individually. So let's do it. Boop, boop, boop. In hindsight, I could have bought a field a little bit closer to the um, shop for this, but that's all right. Now, let's uh, run over here and see what's up with these grapevines. I suspect that they're just going to uh, start growing here on their own. So they are growing. Their fertilizer is at 0%. And so if we jump up to the vehicle at the store here, I should be able to hook up this sprayer and give it some fertilizer. Should help us out with our yield. Make sure that we're um, not wasting any time here. We want to get as many grapes as possible. Just taking a quick look at this stuff. Make sure I'm not missing anything. All right. I don't know how much this uh, thing holds, so we'll grab this silly little uh, narrow tractor here. Oh, we plowed right into that. I feel like the pers my uh, depth perception is just off the last couple of days in farm sim. I haven't been able to line up any of the equipment. Hey, it's T Man. How you doing? Derek, the combinations option on the purchase screen, that's a great point. I don't know that I actually talked about that much. So there's two different things. So there's packs where, you know, it shows me a pack of things that are legitimate to buy for um, this, you know, this type of farming. And the combinations button is here, and I'll show it in a different context because I think it's easier to understand. Let's say I'm buying a harvester. I want to buy the 7150. Well, I don't know what implements will work well with the 7150. These are the headers that are designed to work with that particular vehicle. And so the combinations uh, button is designed to help you understand which items are designed to work with that particular mod. And so it's, it's not quite a dependency, but it's a works well with kind of a situation. So if I click on the T560 and click on combinations, you can see the Capellos, 
are still there. Um, but I also have the John Deere headers, not the case headers. So, uh, Carrie Lewis, the fences work very different with uh, um, FS22 in that you don't um, you don't need to place each individual one. You click on the start and then you drag to the end, um, just like what we just did with um, the grapevines. So um, I can show that off here again. We're gonna run this down to the farm and then uh, I'm skipping ahead to daylight because I want all of these fields to grow. Um, since we have to drive this back to the farm anyway, I would normally just sleep, um, but we'll get there in just a second. Looks like our combine is turning around on the road though. I haven't found any settings around uh, crop withering in uh, this version of the game yet either. A bunch of the settings seems to be uh, somewhat different than they were in previous versions of the game. So, so I'm going to pull in here between our two rows. I guess I could have placed the other row. So uh, for uh, I forget who was asking about the fence, but I'll show that off again here real quick because it works the same exact way as placing down the grapevine uh, orchard fence here. And so I'm gonna, it's hard to see here. I'm gonna click once to place the fence post and then I'm going to come down here into the light hopefully and click again. And it just places that whole line of fences, you know, or in this case, the grapevine orchards. Once it's light again, I'll show it off better. Um, in fact, let's, uh, Let's just skip over here and sleep because I hate playing in the dark. It's hard on everybody. There we go. We'll sleep until eight. My helper driving home is missing in action. No, he's here. He made it. He did a good job. Good job, worker. Hope modders make hops like the grapes. Yeah, exactly. Scorpion's Edge. I'm almost positive somebody's going to... Uh, going to be doing that get the uh the brown waters going been playing on uh flint hills do you know a way to have the north farm dryer silo show storage in the menu i don't that i think they're uh, global company mods so you have to push Control g to bring up the global company uh storages so we're gonna spray these grapes here um, with fertilizer and then I'll hop out and make sure that this is working. So we'll do this first pass. Um, you can see they already grew overnight though. We went from having just uh, sticks to little green uh, leaves here. And we can see that they're fertilized 8%. What does that mean? Um, I'm kind of uh, interested to see how fertilization is going to work here um, for the grapes and stuff. It doesn't seem... Like it's registering, let's get rid of plowed. Uh, it did register somewhat. Very fascinating. So I could have placed these better, I think. There's a lot of space in between them, so I don't think I'm getting close enough to fully fertilize um, all of this. And so we're on a really fast speed. I'm going to slow this down, although we're getting some rain here, which probably means our combine is going to stop. Uh, but I just want to run up and down these and kind of see what's going on with this. Kerminator said that Giants won't support any alcohol production due to the game rating. Yeah, exactly. It will not be in uh, base game or on the mod hub as a mod. But uh, for PC players, I'm positive somebody's going to create that mod at some point here. So we'll get real close up to this. This thing's got a really short range. Um, it's really cool though. I saw a sprayer sort of like this uh, when I visited a blueberry farm. Um, so it's neat to see stuff like this in game. Okay. So we are rocking and rolling on our production systems here. Let's just double check on how the wheat flour is doing. So all of that wheat got converted into flour, which we're storing for the time being in case we need to do something different with it. And now we need honey, raisins, oat, and corn. So let's shut this guy down and go check on our bees. Oh my goodness, farm sim guys in the chat. 
Farm Sim Guy, for tomorrow, we've had an interesting request by the audience that they would like to see how production systems will be affected by multiplayer and how the interactions between different players work for production systems. And so, since I'm kind of playing with production systems here today, um, we might uh, try to use this save when we play tomorrow and see if we can then add a new farm on that's separate from this and see how they interact. So we'll have to talk about that, but I thought that was an interesting request. It's the kind of thing that becomes very hard to test by yourself when you're uh, playing around with this. Um, so looking at, we've got, so we have our first product here, which is a palette of honey that we're gonna bring over into this. So we're gonna need a forklift. Uh, I thought about we could just use um, a tractor, but we've got a new forklift here that wasn't in FS19, I don't think. So let's drive this over from the store and have a forklift on our farm. We're going to do the cringy uh, tab through things until we get up to the store, until we get some other mods. And uh, we'll get uh, an AI helper to drive this back up to the farm for us. Hopefully, set destination. We'll have him bring it right up here to the open spot in the yard. And then uh, we'll be able to get this loaded up in the back of our pickup maybe and bring it up to the production area. We're also going to want slash need a, well, we'll just have him drive it up there. Well, that's what we'll do. Or in hindsight, we'll buy a second forklift and have it sent up to the production thing so I don't forget later on. And that way he's got plenty of time to figure himself out. So let's do that. We're gonna start him up and we're gonna say, drive yourself up here. We're gonna need your help later on. See you later. He's trying to figure out where to go. It's like course play when you kick off the uh, starting course. <clears throat> All right. Let's uh, let's see here. So we're gonna bring our harvester back up to the farm as long as uh, we're sitting here right next to it. Um, I'm kind of trying to figure out what that trailer is there for. I suspect at some point we're going to need to dump these grapes into something, but I don't see a hitch on this thing for that trailer, so we'll figure this out here in a few minutes. And then as soon as this rain stops, we can start uh, harvesting the corn and the oats that we're going to need. Press the C key, still work to lock the grid or rotate angle when placing down items. Um, not for fences at least. I didn't notice that just now. I tried to do that when I was putting down the grapevines. Give me a minute to get up to the farm and we'll try that out. Is there a charger to charge the electric vehicles? Yes, there is. Um, I did, uh, see that there's a charger for the electric vehicles. If we come in here, um, under construction, under... Oh man, buildings, tools, you've got the electric charging station and then you also have the new biomethane station um, for the methane tractors because there's um, uh, methane vehicles now in the game as well. Oh, FSG, I have uh, something else for you. So. Um, it was funny, I saw your modding video this morning, um, which I thought, you know, that's a great idea. People have been asking questions about it. Um, so I had to go ahead and uh, one-up you and actually get a fully functioning mod in-game. And what better mod to be my first mod into FS22 than the Ketterk Farm sign. So we're there. We've got our first mod in FS22 now. I'm excited. It's, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Placeable system is a little different than it was in uh, FS19. The build menu and the way all that works is uh, is going to be interesting. Lots of op lots more options, I'll say too. 
It looked like the forklift wanted to take the car with her. Yeah. We're just going to ignore. Uh, the AI drivers are... They're trying their best, we'll say. So, you can't ask for too much. Uh, I am going to park this thing over here on the field out of the way for now, since it's going to be a little bit before our grapes are ready to go. I'm going to speed things up a bit, because I want to get past this rain, because I can't harvest anything in the rain. And we're going to move this thing out of the way as well. Swiss Mizzy, it'd be great if when placing down grapevines and olive trees, if it'd show a plus or minus for proper spacing. I agree. Um, I was kind of expecting like a highlighted area or something, and maybe I'm just missing it. So let's take a closer look in the daylight here. Like I was kind of expecting to see something on the ground. I mean, I can't get too close, it looks like. So maybe I just needed to... Like, it won't let me... Yeah, it will let me place it there. See, this says it collides with another item, but it's... I don't know where to start to make it not collide, right? I... You know, it's like, oh, well, it's over here. So I gotta keep trying it a bunch of times. I don't know. It, uh... It felt kind of weird. So... I think that part needs a little bit of visual work still. Um, I don't know. We'll we'll uh, we'll play with it some more. But somebody was oh somebody was asking about the fences. I think the fences actually work pretty good. Um, however, I don't know if there's like a, a press a button to snap. So they kind you can really move them around right, um, which is cool. But I can't hold C down to like snap it to the grid. Um, so you are on your own for finding out where you want things to go. But the fact that I can cover such a wide area and get a straight line with it is absolutely amazing. So no more placing down individual objects. And it keeps going. So you're automatically connected. And then you can just um, demolish uh, sections if you want. And this is what I thought was cool. If I hold down the mouse button, I can just keep demolishing. I don't have to click on every single item to delete it. This is so much better than FS19. Um, so from that perspective, life is good. All right, our rain is done. We're going to stop time and uh, go make sure that we're harvesting here. So let's find our combines in the appropriate mode here. Answer. Um, corn's not ready, actually. Is that... How is that a thing? Crops, crop types, growth. Um, where's our fields? Uh, actually, this field's going to be ready before. Um, so let's uh, see if we can send this guy over to the right field. Destination. We'll send you right there. AI worker has stopped. Target is unreachable. All right. Maybe he needs to be on a road to start out with. There, you're on a road. Let's see where you go. Set destination. Good luck. Social Creed doing good. We're just more or less getting started. We've been live for, well, 45 minutes now, I guess. AI Helper H is blocked by an object. Who are you blocked by? Me? I don't know what he's blocked by. Okay. Well, like I said, the worker system is still a little bit uh, figuring things out here. Hopefully it's going to get better. Um, we will uh, we'll try this one last time here just for the sake of figuring it out. Nope. He does not want to figure out how to get there, so we're just going to have to do it ourselves. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Scooter. Yeah, I was kind of surprised that there was no snapping function like uh, FS19. Uh, 
you use fences to determine proper spacing for grapes and olives? Yeah, I could probably snap all the way along the back row with the um, with the orchard and then delete those pieces when I was done. Um, I, just from a cost perspective, that might you know cost you a bit of money to be placing down all that stuff and then deleting it because you take a hit on uh, deleting stuff, but. It would probably, if you really wanted to uh, get it lined up perfectly, that'd probably be the best way to do it. So we've got that. We're going to come back here and grab our tractor and wagon. Oops. I do uh, keep forgetting that I'm on the AI menu instead of the mini map menu when I'm trying to switch vehicles. Header probably has to be on a trailer. Yeah, that's going to be a problem for me because uh, nobody puts their little corn headers on a trailer like that. Everybody just drives down the road with them. All this poor pedestrian is in my way. Sorry, man. I think our oat field was over here somewhere. There we go. Got to find our combine and get this uh, material brought up to... Our production facility. There we go. Let's, uh, let's see here. I've got the automatic engine start turned on, and uh, I'm getting used to using some of the normal stuff after the last couple of live streams. I had everything on kind of the easy mode. Um, Ethan, you can demolish some of the buildings, not all of them. So if it's something that's set up as a placeable, you can delete it. Um, so like on the main farm, you're able to delete the barns and the bins and stuff like that. But I can't delete something, you know, like a random building on the map here. Like I wouldn't be able to delete the fire department across the road here. Um, that's not something that I have the option to do. So, we're going to haul these oats up to the cereal factory here and uh, get those put in there. Um, just because we've got, it's going to be our first kind of full component. And then we've also got the forklift here, so I can bring the honey up there as well. And I realize now I sent my uh, forklift to the wrong facility earlier. We... Uh, we should have sent it down here. I need to unload honey at the uh, cereal factory. Ah, my bad. We'll get it sorted out here in a moment. It's uh, funny, I've been jumping around on the map so much just to show things off. I haven't actually taken a moment to kind of drive around in a lot of the areas yet. So we're going to be uh, starting off our official Let's Play series on Monday. Uh, I wanted to wait until the game was available to start doing more Let's Play style content. Um, this weekend, as a kind of an early access, I really wanted to just focus in on what people are asking about from uh, from the uh, early preview, so showing off more game mechanics and stuff. Ketter, can you see if someone will make a gravity wagon for FS22 console? So I can't commit to that, but I can tell you I've already been talking to a couple of different modders, and one of the mods that they asked me to try on FS22 this morning was a gravity wagon. And so it's not quite working in game yet, but uh, it looked close. It didn't look like there was going to need to be a lot of work. So gravity wagon is on the short list of things that people want to see inside uh, FS22 pretty quickly, uh, especially since we've got the bins and augers. Um, which I think I saw somebody in chat earlier asking about showing off the bins and augers. Uh, we focused on that in my first live stream. And so if you take a look at the uh, very first live stream for FS22 I did, and it should be in the description of the video or the title of the video, uh, we did a bunch with the bins and the augers and stuff right out of the gate. So check that out if you're interested in seeing how those systems work. And I'm trying to see, I think this is our cereal factory. Actually, I should have stayed in cab here. And I think our dump point is right here. Maybe there's another one somewhere. Oh, we didn't quite make that turn. We're just going to keep running the uh, FS-22 crash counter up. 
All right, we're missing something here. Let me look at which... Uh, oh, I'm on tip side back is probably part of my problem. Let's see here. Oh, it is a trigger right there. All right, so we're going to swing back around here and see if that pops up for me. There's enough room back here to turn around. Get uh, get this trailer put back over there. I didn't think about uh, where my tip side was. It's going to be a little weird uh, just dumping some oats on a pile on the ground here, but I would have kind of expected for a, um, somewhere that's going to accept multiple kinds of grain to have an actual like dump trigger here for it, but that's all right. Do I know the Giants policy on pulling base game vehicles out of FS19 and converting them to 22? I do not. Um, I'm not sure what their policy is on that. Um, Games with James, there are no mods on the mod hub yet as of late last night when I checked, uh, but I have already put the first mod into FS22 on my end, and so I converted a placeable Cutter Farm sign, which we just showed off. So um, we've got some mods at least. It's not uh, going to be too hard to move some things over. Other things maybe uh, will take a little bit longer. I think for vehicles and stuff, there's just some some reworking that they have to do with how the new texture system and different things are working. So let's uh, woo, stay in our lane here. We'll run this back up to the farm and get the honey moved over here. Um, I'll probably try and put that into the uh, back of our pickup with the forklift and see how that goes. Hopefully GPS doesn't take too long. Yeah, that those the scripting mods like that tend to take longer in my experience. Um, so, you know, if I was having to bet, I would say that that one's going to be out a bit later than some of the other kind of mods that... Uh, you know, I think you'll be able to get vehicles and equipment in a lot faster than some of the scripting mods. And I say that because a lot of the the commands in the game have changed. A lot of the, the structure in the XML has changed. And so I suspect there's going to be a lot of depreciated uh, function calls and things like that. I'm going to leave our trailer here because we don't need it. We'll use it for the corn next. And I'm going to jump somewhere where's our uh, forklift our forklift driver got lost we've got a forklift somewhere around here that was supposed to go there and i don't know where he ended up so we've got one there and this guy's trying to pick up a car so we'll uh we'll take this guy over um and get him on the road here and try and send him up to our work point would be nice to see the Kedrick Farms mod with the new normal map to get the 3D stone look. Yeah, exactly. Be some work on the equipment mods to get set up for the new sounds for sure. Yeah, if you uh, if you're looking for like the whole setup, it'll probably take a while to get the mods done. Um, I'll say to mod hub quality, but uh, I think some people will be able to just get some things in game fairly quickly. There we go. He should be good at driving up there. Let's load up some honey. So I'm going to pull our truck out here and get it moving. Just like this. Yeah, uh, the Giants editor is supposed to release on Monday is what I've heard. So that'll be nice. It'll help get some of the basic conversions done. But like Perma said, the uh, documentation for scripting and stuff usually lags behind a bit. You like that truck way better than the 19's old truck? Yeah, I, I do too. It's a cool looking truck. I mean, I would have preferred uh, maybe a branded truck, but I understand why that's not possible. See if we can 
Maybe we could go. I'm curious what the in cab looks like for a uh, forklift here. Oh, yeah. So I have to say, I do think pallet handling in general is a little bit better in uh, in 22. Everything just feels a lot less painful. I say as I struggle to load a pallet on my truck, but let's see if I can give this a little nudge and get it in there. There we go. Oh, we better turn this off. And fold this up. And let's take it up there. We'll even strap it down. Good times. I think the pallet physics feel a bit better. Yeah, exactly. Pallets, bales, um, everything seems a little bit better. Where are you going? You're supposed to be driving up here to come unload my pallet, mister. We may have to come back and drive him back ourselves. We're going to turn left from the right lane. Oh, yeah. We What we need is for uh, Farm Sim to implement the uh, police functionality from ATS where you get a ticket every time you do a traffic violation. I'd be the brokest farmer in the game. Yeah, the pallet loading went really quick. If I'd uh, if I tried to do that before, you're right. It probably would have been five minutes of me cursing at the screen and struggling around here. So um, I did quite a bit of bales uh, in last night's stream as well. We were doing the bales on the um, feed mixing, and that worked out uh, surprisingly well. All right, here we go. We're going to, I guess we'll just park right over here. Whoa. We better fold things down, shut it off, and go find this forklift driver. He's over here doing wheelies. Come here. Sorry, guy. You, uh, you couldn't figure it out. We tried. Glad the workers are still terrible. I feel we'd lost something if they became too good. Exactly. Can you buy the honey by hand? That's a great question. Um, if you could, I would assume you could do it on the production menu. Um, but so like when I have a like outgoing, the output mode, I have the option to change different things. I was hoping that they would add an option here where I could buy that product. Like a lot of the global company stuff had it where you could buy the inputs if you didn't want to make them. Um, but we don't have the ability to do that here. Let me, uh, that guy was honking at me. Let's uh, get going down the road here. I'll check the store and see if I can buy it. Um, oh, can I carry it by hand? Oh, that's a great question. I don't think so. I think it's too heavy. Let's uh, let's go try it real quick so we can maybe save ourselves the trouble. But no, it's uh, it's too heavy. If you bring up the F1 menu, you don't get the pop-up text anymore, but it'll show you in the controls object too heavy. But uh, that was a good idea. The, I think the, the vegetables and probably like eggs and stuff, you'll be able to pick up by hand. But uh, the honey was definitely is uh, apparently a uh, pallet product. So we're gonna, we should have brought a trailer, a low loader and just loaded this up and uh, hauled it up here. It would have been faster. Yeah, super strength is definitely on my list of mods I miss. The bees don't seem to need anything. Um, I'm not sure if they need to be near crops or fields, like if that increases their um, productivity, if you need to place them near like grass or flower areas or something like that. Um, but as far as just looking at the placeable itself, you just place it down and then they start producing. Can you hide the HUD on console? That, I don't know. You can definitely do it on PC. I've been doing that for screenshots already. 
Need do do. Corn takes six months to grow with seasons. Canola takes eleven. That seems a bit off. Yeah, um, I'm curious to see what they're gonna do with the um, ability to add your own geo and things like that. I'd really have liked this guy to be able to drive up here himself. That would be interesting, too, if the bees were able to boost crop yield. But I haven't seen anything in the UI to really, like, explain that or show you that you're getting a bonus. So um, I would I would kind of expect that if, if, you know, it was indeed raising my yield. I would need to be able to see that it's working. Does grass dry without tedding in seasons mode? It does not. Um, just having read the manual, they explicitly call out that you need to ted it, um, turn it over for it to dry to hay. All right, we're up here finally at our uh, construction site, or construction site, our factory site, production site, I suppose. So let's uh, unload us some honey. And then hopefully, and I should have probably been running the clock a little bit. I didn't want to do this in the dark. We'll go sleep after we're done unloading this and go get the corn that we need. Oh, see, my percept, my, it's like my depth perception is just off all weekend here where I thought that was lined up and it's clearly not. We go in cab here. Back it up. And we'll put this right into the unloading area like so. Good deal. Now let's look at our production chain. We've got the a little bit of the honey needed. We've got the oats, and we just need to get our corn and raisins. So let's go make some time move forward here a little bit and see if we can make those things happen. Is forestry the same as FS19? Um, I haven't played with it much yet, but all of the equipment and stuff looked pretty much identical. All right, so we've moved the clock forward another full day here. Let's check on our corn growth. So you'll notice when I popped open the map there, or maybe you noticed, everything just popped. All the field states instantly popped into their next growth state, where if you remember from FS19 seasons, like the map was just chunking through the updates, and it took, on a 4X map, it could take up to 5 to 10 minutes before... Um, it was ready for you to advance to the next day. And so I've uh, really enjoyed that with, uh, with FS22, that the updates seem to be a lot faster. faster. The start the engine message is too aggressive too. Yeah. We will all be uh, forklift experts by the time... Uh, um, super strength is available, so we won't even need it at that point. Maybe true. I have to say, even just the last couple of days working on it, um, I have felt like I've gotten better. So we're going to use a worker here on the combine for the corn. I'm just loving the difference in textures here where, you know, here we've got the chaff on the ground versus when we did the silage last night in our stream. Uh, there was no chaff on the ground because you wouldn't have chaff with a, a forage harvester. So lots of just cool little things. Perma, you're saying, yeah, the physics for logging and stuff is pretty much the same. Can the AI go in a square around the field? No, he's just going to go back and forth. There's no real changes to the... 
um, AI behaviors for um, how they do field work in my experience so far. Um, I'll be honest, in fact, in some situations, I feel like they did a worse job in uh, in my games here over the last couple of days. But uh, I'm also not doing the things that I usually do with workers. I usually take the headlands off first uh, before I set a worker loose and things like that. So I'm uh, um, not noticing any huge changes, though, in how workers behave. But uh, the crop textures do indeed look uh, better, in my opinion. Lots of lots of stuff changes. The colors in general, the color palette in FS22, um, it's much more vibrant, I would say, as a descriptor. So you've got brighter colors, um, better um, contrast between the colors. The sky is nowhere near as um, hazy and overcast. Um, which are things that, you know, personally for me, um, were complaints with FS19. I miss uh, Vehicle Speed Sync as well. That's a mod that I've uh, slowly gotten used to over uh, the last several months with FS19. It's funny, all the little mods that, um, after they're gone, you're like, oh man, I'm reaching to push the button for Speed Sync, and it's not there. So I'm going to let that guy make another round here. Um, I'm going to park this up here, and we need to check on our last crop, which is grapes, and just see how those are growing. Um, I think it's going to take a little bit. And, uh, yeah, the the tire tracks got a big upgrade for driving in the field, I think, as well. That uh, um, it looks very different than they used to, so um, lots of little things that are different. Can you set up the cruise control to match manually? Yes, yes, I can. That works like it did in base game for 19. All right, let's see here. See, we've already got stacks of uh, honey here. Looks like they're stacking on top of each other, which is interesting. Turn blinkers off Mahad is one I will miss. I'm not familiar with that one. So if we look here... The growth of my grapes is growing. Very descriptive. Um, let me untag this place up there that I don't need, and we'll look at the growth state. So it's kind of hard to see here because it's literally just the strips, um, but we are in a, I don't know, a medium out of the different growing stages here. So I don't know how long grapes need. But we're going to just uh, let those go for a while. And so while those are going, I'm going to speed up time a bit here. Go through an auto save. And I just wanted to double check. We, we definitely need all of these materials. So we're going to focus on getting this corn harvested and brought up there. And then we will uh, um, get some grapes going. Uh... <laughs> Uh, yeah, so actually, um, uh, I can't speak Russian, unfortunately. Uh, my wife is from Belarus, so I understand a little bit. So, uh, Privyet, nice to see you in the stream. But uh, my ability to read and speak Russian is uh, beyond limited, so I do apologize. Blinkers, the game had blinkers, exactly. When have I used blinkers? I don't even know what the key is for my flashers, which I should uh, hook up. Tonight we're going to do in the live stream at 9 p.m. Um, I'm going to get out the hazard beacon. We'll get out the chocolate and the marshmallows and the olive oil and all the stuff that came with the press kit here. And uh, we'll kind of go through the goodie bag and I'll try it out, I guess, on stream. So uh, we'll, we'll tackle some of that stuff tonight. Um, I think for tonight... You know, I'll also talk a little bit more about modding and stuff because I've been playing with that. And uh, we can um, have a more open forum and just dive into whatever people are asking about in the uh, 9 p.m. live stream. Be a little bit more of a chill live stream. 
Doug Scott is precision farming going to be in the DLC or going to be a DLC? Um, I don't know if it's a, going to be an official DLC, but they have said that it will be um, available in, I think they said the first half of 2022. So there was a blog post about it right around the time they did their farm con thing, and uh, they said it's coming next spring. Numpad one is left, two is hazards, and three is right. There we go, hazard lights. Nico, it is 1 p.m. Eastern time, so, or 1.10 Eastern time. So 9 p.m. Eastern is when I'll be live again this evening. Be an official DLC, but not like those big DLC packs, more like a smaller add-on. That's my understanding as well, like they did for FS19, where it was kind of a standalone DLC. It wasn't really a, it wasn't a paid DLC, let me put it that way. Um, it will be a free DLC. They have confirmed that it will be free for FS22. And it should have additional functionality as well. I believe they're going to add sprayer section control and some other things to um, to it, is how I read the... How, how I read their wording on it. You'll have to sit through a boring three hour seminar to get the PF DLC. I see this is I was I, I found that uh, um, session fascinating when they had the guy from John Deere come out and talk about, you know, precision farming and agriculture. Um, I do enjoy stuff like that. At your 9 p.m. stream, will you go over the multiplayer options? Mark, we're going to do multiplayer tomorrow at noon Eastern time with uh, Farm Sim Guy. So Farm Sim Guy and I are going to do a multiplayer stream together. And so we'll look at all of that because some of the things you can't really bring up and look at unless you have somebody else in your game. And so it'll be a lot easier um, to go through and do that if we're in the same game together. And then we'll also, um, at that point in time, talk about how things like the production chains that we're setting up in today's episode work when you have multiple people. You know, are you able to have another farm deliver things or sell things to your production chain? So I don't know. We'll find out. So I'm going to get this guy back on the road. I'm going to see if I can send him back up to the place on an AI worker here. And then we're going to keep the clock moving here so that we can hopefully um, get going on grapes as well. So we're going to pick a target here. This guy is uh, really trying to figure things out here. Ketter, can you get rid of the blue floating icons or no? Which blue floating... Oh, the uh, help icons? I'm almost positive you can. Let me um, go in here. I saw the setting in here called... So you can get rid of the yellow and black ones, and then you can get rid of the other ones I thought I saw somewhere too. Input help mode, maybe. Um, I'm not sure. When you go to that screen, click create job, then things will pop up for that. Yeah, the create job lets you do different jobs, but um, when you're just going to a specific point, um, set destination is the quick version of uh, being able to do the go to job. So it's just less uh, clicks. Tractor races at noon tomorrow in multiplayer. <laughs> There you go. Demolition Tractor Derby. So let's, uh, we're, we're moving the time past here. I was going to unload this uh, guy as long as we're here. Get a little bit of uh, night action going here, I suppose. 
Can we unload in cab on, at night on the go? Get lined up here. Here we go. We should probably have a grain cart and I should probably drive straight. Here, that's better. Oh, we're too far away. We're going too fast, apparently. There we go. We couldn't do it. That's the uh, moral of that story, folks. So we'll get this uh, all emptied out, and I'm going to skip ahead a couple of days for grapes, I think. I think two loads of corn is going to be more than enough for us here. We're going to hit our weight limit here, I think, on this trailer, if I remember correctly. I wasn't paying attention before. I've got the weight limit functionality turned on right now. Yep, so we only get about 87% of our capacity in this trailer. Um, I'll be curious to kind of see how people implement that as we get into modding and setting kind of realistic DOT limits on things. So I'm going to set this guy to get over to the other, uh, per, the, or back to the production chain, and then we're going to go skip some days so that we can get to grapes. So we'll jump back here. So we're up at the farm right quick. And one of the big improvements that I love, this is all base game T-Harding with a, I've got a single mod um, for FS22 that I, I converted myself this morning. So there are no bushels in game yet. Um, it is all leaders, but uh, here's the first uh, FS22 mod. So we've got it. And uh, yes, David and Farm Sim Guy confirmed it. You can get three contracts at a time now. So, you know, if I wanted to get these three bailing or these three cultivating contracts, I can accept one, I can accept two, I can accept three. And then when I try to do four, it says I already have active contracts. So, you know, my three active contracts are up here, uh, which is a huge improvement in my opinion. I mean, there was a mod for this in. Uh, farm sim 19 but i like that it's right here in uh in the game that they've kind of upped that limit a little bit i think it'll make it better especially in multiplayer you had fs19 had an option in game setting telling you how long you've played yes so um all of the like statistics stuff is here i'm um, very similar to 19 and so you can see we've played today for an hour and 15 minutes in this uh, session. And uh, I had the game open for about 40 minutes before this session. So uh, it's got some other cool things like how many collectibles I've uh, collected here on the map so far. Which I found with my first collectible last night uh, uh, in our live stream. So there's some cool Easter eggs and things on the map. Um, one thing I will definitely point out, I've been pointing out in all my live streams, there's a corn maze up here. This thing is awesome. You should definitely check out the corn maze when the game comes out. It's a lot of fun. And uh, let's go check on our grape situation here. We've got some grapes they're still growing but you can see they look like they've gotten a bit bigger for sure um we've got tiny little grapes down here now so we're gonna just uh jump this forward one more time because we really uh we really need to get into grapes it's the last thing that we need which mode am i running what is trailer weight Okay, so let me explain the trailer weight thing here. And the easiest way to do that, there's a great uh, set of mods right next to each other in the store that I can do show off to talk about that. As soon as we're done skipping the night here. Oh man, it's snowing. It's a good thing we turned off seasons or my grapes would probably die. So trailer weight. So there's two things with trailer weight. So first, there's a setting here. If we jump into our game settings, I'm, I'm losing it. It's called trailer fill limit. And if you turn this on, it means that the trailers can only be filled to their maxed allowed weight as opposed to volume. 
And so if you come into the store here and we look at trailers, I like to use this example. So we have this um, uh, pull behind trailer here. It holds 18.5 cubic meters and 13.5 tons of material, or I should say ore. This Demco has less volume, so I can technically hold less grain, but it has a higher weight limit. So I can put heavier things in the side dump and uh, haul more weight with it than I could this trailer. And so you, you have to think about things differently. It's, it's volume or weight, not both, right? You know, so if you turn on the trailer weight limit, it's going to make sure that, you know, based on what material type, you know, the different materials have different weights. And we saw this with um, our feed. Straw had a higher weight than um, the other one. So I don't know. Uh, you know, straw had a higher weight compared to, you know, hay. And so, it you know, or was it volume? I can't remember. But, you know then you you it just changes the way the game mechanics work and so i thought that was really cool because it's a little bit more realistic and you're going to be able to see um as we get into doing things where we add wet and dry corn you know what's the volume of dry corn versus wet corn um and you know stuff like that so um we'll be playing with that a lot as modders get into things and start modding the game here I'm looking at our grapes while I'm talking here, and we've still got a ways to go, so we're going to jump this up again. Oh, I said I was running one mod. Sorry, I'm on my, like, rant here. Here's our here's the first mod of FS22. The Kedrick Farms placeable sign. So, we converted this over from 19 this morning just to prove that uh, you can convert an in-game a mod um, without too much difficulty. If I can do it, uh, I'm sure modders are going to be able to... Uh, uh, going to be able to pull off some stuff really quick when GE comes out here on Monday. There are no mods yet in the Mod Hub. I have checked, uh, as of last night at least, there was no mods in the Mod Hub. So let's uh, re uh, or jump ahead another day here and go check on these grapes one more time. We're learning about grapes here. Everything but that sign is in base game at this point, for sure. Um, that was the only mod, and that was my my mod that I uh, converted over. So, although I should use this as an opportunity to give a huge shout out to Legacy Egg, who is. Uh, the person who put that together for me originally in Farm Sim 19. Um, I was very grateful for him to toss that mod together for me. All right, folks, here we're going. Grapes. First time in Farm Sim 22 for me, at least. Let's pop open our help menu here. Um, let's uh, drop my camera down a little bit over here. I'm noticing that I'm blocking the uh, menu. Will put me in the middle of that spot and unfold the harvester. Here we go. Does it come out Sunday night or Monday? It depends on how you pre ordered it, Lindsay. If you pre ordered directly from Giants, you will be able to download it and uh, pre download it now and start playing at 6 p.m. Eastern Time on Sunday night. If you pre-ordered from the Xbox or PS4 stores, you will get to access it at midnight. And if you pre-ordered from Steam, you'll get to access it at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, I'm looking at this. I think I'm just going to drive down here and get some grapes. Let's uh, close up this map, take a look at the interior here. Things look pretty slick. Looking good. All right, first time, let's... Uh, Let's see, I assume that I need to just center this on me. Um, I'm getting hung up. All right, let's see here. Exterior view. Oh, I don't. I'm, I'm completely wrong here. 
Well, that's going to be really confusing. I'll never be able to drive this thing in cab. All right, so we're lined up here. Let me go in here and see if there's some way I'm ever going to be able to do this from in cab. Oh, my goodness. And the uh, force feedback on the steering wheel, when I bump into it, it kind of, like, sticks. It's kind of cool. Yeah, we've already gotten off uh, track here and stuck. This is what happens when you drive crooked, folks. We'll uh, back up a smidge here and see if I can line up a bit better. There we go. All right, we're going to drive head on and see if we can do a better job of keeping it on the grapes. And you can see, so we're loading the grapes up into the back here somewhere. Um, we've got some amount of capacity in this uh, tractor, or this uh, harvester, I should say, I suppose. Oh, we get caught on the uh, fence posts here. If you go too far off, it catches, and then it jerks the steering wheel a bit, which is kind of uh, kind of cool, but also just kind of uh, disorienting. So let's see if I could actually pull this off. So the input should be right to my right here, and we're gonna we're gonna try and do this. Here we go. Can workers do grapes? Oh, you guys really want to see a worker make a mess of this? Let's find out. All right. Create job. No. No grapes harvesting for us. This is a job. Well, no grapes harvesting that way. Let me push H. Nope. No grape harvesting. This is a job for humans. All right, let's do it. I'm missing the chat here. I do apologize, folks. All the new things in the game, it's like so hard. Oh, we've got a camera up here. I'm sorry, I'm like reaching up, pointing at my screen. You guys can't even see what I'm pointing at. We've got a fake camera screen there. If that was a functioning um, uh, camera view on the tablet there, that would be awesome. That would be very helpful. Um, We'll, uh, we'll do a couple more rounds here because we don't really have that many liters of grapes. So we'll, uh, we'll keep going here because we won't even get full harvesting all these grapes. And see how it goes. Oh, we got stuck on something. The visibility in the cab, not so good. I would not want this job in real life, that's for sure. Oh, oh. I'm sure I would come at it straight on a little bit better and try and uh, maybe not turn while I've got something inside of the uh, harvester there, but Helper K needs to take those Farm Sim Academy courses, exactly. T. Harding, if you want to pre-order on Steam, I do not have a uh, um, code that's going to work for you. However, I believe RZ Gaming has partnered with somebody that gives you um, that has some kind of a partner code that he's able to take advantage of. So if you're um, if you're not aware of Argzy Gaming, he's also a uh, fellow content creator that uh, we've collaborated with quite a bit. Um, him and Farmsome Guy actually played uh, quite a few multiplayer series on uh, FS19. So if you're ordering from Steam and looking for uh, um, something to you know benefit a good content creator, check out Argzy Gaming's channel. He's been in uh, most of my live streams uh, this weekend as well. How do you plant grapes? Uh, so they're more of a placeable. Um, it works kind of like the fence system where you put down the grape vines and then they just start growing. Um, you don't have to replant them or anything. You do have to um, trim them up after you harvest them, I believe. All of this, and we've just now gotten over a thousand liters of grapes. <laughs> I, I mean, obviously, we didn't do a great job of fertilizing them or anything, but uh, it's quite fascinating. So we're gonna we're gonna take this last bit, but I guess to make good money at this or to get good volume, I would need to have packed them in denser. I mean, look at all this wasted space that we've got. So we could have put ten times the amount of grapes in this field. And uh, I should have done a better job of fertilizing them, I suppose. 
Joffrey Dahl, if you're looking to pre-order from Giants, you can check out the links in the description of the live stream. Um, there's a couple of links there. Um, you can use the code Ketter Farms. And boom, we're done. We've got our grapes in here. How do I get rid of, how do I dump them out? This is the, the question. So let's turn this off. We're gonna bring this back up to the yard and then we'll go grab that trailer, I think, that we need to unload them. Maybe I push I? I don't know. Is there a pipe out option? There isn't. There's gotta be a way to dump these out. All right, we'll park this here. I'm going to grab this tractor that we've got sitting over here and go get that trailer. I think that trailer is the key to getting grapes. Yeah, the grass line is definitely the spacing for grapes, but the question is, is, is that where I start my next pole or do I need to skip that much grass over again for the next pole? Because when you're placing them down from a fence perspective, um, I'm just not sure how that works out. There's a, there's very little visual indicator for you, is my point, I guess. Johnny K, just say they're organic grapes. Oh man, when we go to start doing the Let's Play series though, I'll be turning on all the realism options. So we're going for the full gear system and everything. We're gonna specifically try to uh, use mods that make my life difficult because it'll be hilarious. The bloopers are gonna be real when we get into uh, making Let's Play videos. All right, let's see here. Is the force feedback good? Um, I don't know, like, yes. I think at some point I'm gonna get tired of it though. And I'll say, and maybe it's just I'm, a, I'm an old guy who's, you know, set in his ways. But like, my shoulder actually hurts today after doing this for, you know, a day and a half with the uh, force feedback. And, you know, maybe if I learned how to drive better and I stopped crashing into things, it wouldn't keep uh, jerking the steering wheel on me. Um, and so I like it. It's a fun experience, but I, I play a lot of farm sim with creating content and everything. And so doing this for three or four hours a day, um, I don't know, it might get old, but if you're looking for a fun experience and you like that interactive feeling, it's awesome. It's really cool. Um, I've, I've enjoyed it. And if you're in a field and, and the, the increased v the visuals, you know how like the tractor bounces and moves, um, it moves the steering wheel to match with that bouncing and it, it's felt really cool. All right, now if I'm not mistaken, I think we're going to just back this straight up here to the, uh, if I could turn the steering wheel the right way. Do, 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 do. All right, maybe we'll do it from inside the uh, harvester. Yeah, there we go. I do like you have to have the engine running now to unload things. You can no longer unload equipment without the uh, engine running. Oh, I totally backed this up the wrong way. I should have just driven it right underneath the two augers. Now we know. All right, let's drive this up here and uh, see if we can make our first slightly more complicated production chain item. Brings out even more of the realism than Perma, exactly. Um, you know, if you've ever actually bounced around in a tractor in a field all day, you, uh, you get a little sore sometimes. Brock, there is no hunting in the uh, game. I believe that's gonna stay that way. There are deer now, um, and so we've had deer run out in front of us a couple of times in the field and stuff. Um, I don't think that they will add hunting because they have a Peggy 3 rating, and so um, that's a little outside of the the realm for uh, that rating. All 
<clears throat> Those are grapes, though, not raisins. Are they? Wait, what do I need? Somebody's about to ruin my day. Oh, they are. How do I make raisins? Pause. Which production chain is responsible for raisins? Let's see. Grape processing unit. Oh, we're going to need one of these. Okay. Sorry, I'm looking at my other monitor. Um, I think we'll have to place that down on a farm, though. So let's go do that real quick. And so this is the fun thing with um, production chains is, is that it kind of gives you different things to do so that the game isn't quite as repetitive, I guess. And uh, mixes things up. Not everybody is going to like that. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Let me see here. Um, hmm, construction. Production. Let's see if I can find this grape drying, uh, grape processing unit. Takes goods and transforms them. I wonder if there's one on the map already. We'll, uh, we'll check. There is right over here. All right. Well, let's do it. Can I drive my guy to the grape processing facility? All right. Let's uh, try and catch up on chat. I'm doing a terrible job of keeping up with you guys today. This could be the realism update where I'm missing something up here. You can actually go... Can you actually go into the houses in FS22? Uh, you cannot. In fact, you can't even go into your farmhouse as far as I've been able to find out. So, um, no houses uh, explorable at this point that I've seen yet. I've tested a handful of them now. RTX 3090 Grape Edition. Great processing unit, a.k.a. GPU. <laughs> oh, goodness. Sonia, if you just want money, actually, there's a couple of ways to get money. Um... There's a hackish way to do it by creating a multiplayer game and creating a bunch of farms and then uh, pulling those back into one farm by starting a single player game. Um, or you can just edit the XML like you could do on PC before. So lots of options there if you want to. Um, that's what I, I did. I, I edited the HDM or the XML so that I could have the money for the live stream. It's the quickest way to do it. Ketterick, so if we use the link in the description, you can play tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Yes, if you pre-order from Giants, they have said that you're going to be able to play starting at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. The way the auto drive works is making more sense now. Thank you. Yeah, um, at least for the driving part of it, it's really straightforward once you've done it a couple of times. Um, essentially, it's, you know, just coming into the menu. Um you know, we're driving here, you just, I can cancel the current job. I can just say set destination, click where I want it, and then you can rotate to face the direction you want to go. It's, uh, it's been awesome. We're going to take over for this guy, though, because we're pretty much there right now. DJ Goham has a video up showing on the money hack. Yeah, exactly. The, the way to do the multiplayer, um, get money thing, uh, DJ Goham put together a pretty good video on that. Um, if you want to edit the XML, it works just like FS19 did. You just go in and edit the farms.xml and set the value to whatever you want. That is good for people on PC. It doesn't work so well for uh, console, obviously, because you can't edit the files. Drake, where did Giants say that? They've said that on their social media page, um, on like Facebook. They've said it on their Discord channel and sent out big screenshots of when you can get 
um, stuff. Um, I've reposted those in my own Discord, so you can uh, check those out if you're part of either my Discord or the official Farming Simulator Discord. Oh no! I didn't buy it first! I think we just sold our grapes, people. Oops. Let me check. Oh no, they're in here. Okay. I want to deactivate grape juice. I don't want grape juice. I only want raisins. Oh, that was almost a disaster. All right. If you buy from Giants, you can you add it to your Steam library? I'm not sure. Um, I haven't had any luck with that. I didn't have any luck with that for FS19. I ended up just buying a Steam copy, so. Incoming materials, outgoing. All right, so now I think we just got to wait a little bit to see if they pop up here. T. Harding, you can confirm the bouncing you grew up on a farm. Exactly. I'm not sure how uh, lagged my stream is right now, too, so I apologize if I'm uh, delayed in responding to questions. I think it was DJ that showed that you can sell them to the factory and then buy the factory and keep the money and get the output material. Yeah, maybe. Um, I'm just glad that the output material was still there. I don't care about the money right now. I just want the uh, product. So we've advanced quite a few, quite a ways here. I want my, my product out. How do I get the raisins? I was expecting them to go out on pallets. I guess they're storing, so... What's my... I can go to distributing. If I go to distributing... I don't really want to go to distributing. I want to get the product, actually. We'll try distributing and see what happens here. I don't have any here. I guess I need to figure out if there's something that's capable of hauling raisins four hundred and seventy two liters I need them over here I was expecting distributing to take the raisins from here and automatically move them to my other facility so let me move time forward by an hour here and see if we start uh, having the cereal factory get some raisins maybe and maybe we just need to wait until we get to, um, like, a certain threshold. I think maybe a 1,000 liters tends to be the standard, uh, you know, unit for something to measure. And then, oh, there it goes. So let me slow the game down here for a second. So because I set it to distributing from raisins, when we hit the appropriate threshold or maybe a certain period of time, the raisins were automatically redistributed from this building storage into the cereal building storage. And so I don't have to move those materials myself. Um, I can allow my production chains to just work with each other and move those raisins over here to start producing the cereal, which is really cool. We making raisin bran? We are stranded. Raisin brand. Two scoops. Two scoops of raisins. We're all out now. Because apparently we that's about all we harvested is enough to do one run of cereal here. So, uh, no, Night Fury. Distributing doesn't sell them. There's a separate option on that menu for selling. And so you can store them, sell them, or distribute them. We're going the wrong way. Parth, um, I'm technically not allowed to, you know, kind of give like a rating for the game or anything like that. However, I will say that I've enjoyed uh, my time in FS22 a lot over the weekend here, and I'm looking forward to uh, diving into it full force here next week. Nicholas, when you're on farm manager mode, do you have loans starting out? Um, that's a great question. Um, on this particular save, I started as new farmer so I don't I can't check 
So we'll check uh, here in just a moment. Uh, I, I'll start up a new game here in a moment and we can double check on that. Let me just look at the finance screen here in general. I don't have any loans on New Farmer at least. So I'm trying to think here. So we've now done a multi-tier production chain where we've taken the grapes to one building and then had that building distribute them to our cereal factory and combined all of those resources up into a new product. What I do want to do is run over here to the cereal factory and just uh, see if it's how it's handling the output over here. If I can find our cereal factory. And so I'm going to speed time up here just a little bit and check on this in the menu. We've only got 74 liters. It looks like we create it 60 at a time. Um, we don't have that much honey here available. It looks like I'm going to need to bring some more honey over if I want to keep producing things. And so I think as long as it's set to storing, it's going to stay in here. I would, I don't think anything else uses cereal. Like I'm trying to figure out how you get it to place down in the, uh, the zone here. So to make a card with Ferrari farm, I'm not sure, uh, what that means. Do the vehicles and implements feel more heavy than an FS 19? Um, yeah, they do. Um, I feel like in general, things feel heavier in this version. We're going to jump over here and skip through the night. Um, and so I think that applies to like bales and pallets and tractors and implements. Like everything doesn't feel nearly as loose. It doesn't fly around on the map as much. Um, everything just kind of has a more solid feel to it. Yeah, Derek, we took out a, uh, uh, we brought some money in so we could show things off for sure. We've got some snow coming in here. Um, uh, bum, 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 bum. Really like the production chains, uh, T. Harding. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been interesting for sure. Um, I'm going to go ahead and load this honey up and take it over just because I want to see if we can get enough product in that production chain uh, to, you know, do a little bit more with. Now, it looks like my pallet fell through the ground here, actually. That's interesting. Can I uh, maybe get this to come out of the ground? Nope. That would be why the other pallet's on top of it. Well, looks like we're going to get stuck with just one pallet here. Maybe if I... Whoops. I was going to try and pick that up. If I get this one off, am I able to get the other one out? We're really missing uh, super strength right now. Oh, there it goes. It popped out of the ground now that there isn't a second pallet on top of it. But yeah, without super strength, it's just kind of hard to uh, fix little issues like that when they happen with the physics. We'll load this up here. Come on. I guess we'll have to drive our pickup back over here, too. How do you charge the forklift? That one's a... Is that a... I think that's a gas forklift, isn't it? Or is it a uh, an electric? Let's see. Oh, this one's an electric. So you'd have to put down an electric charging point for it. Um, which is the same charging point that existed in FS19 uh, for like the rigid tractor and stuff. So we now have multiple electric vehicles in base game. Um, I'm not sure what this guy's doing here. Does he have corn in his trailer? He does. Okay. Well, we're just going to pop some curbs and get running back up to the farm here. Grab these grapes and see if we can actually get some pallets of cereal to come out here. You get a single pallet by hand. Yeah, I'm not sure. We gotta we gotta find out. Crash 15. Yeah, we've uh, we've been slack on the uh, crash counter here. We're all over the place. Oh goodness. 
trying to read chat and drive at 70 miles an hour, not such a uh, easy task. All right, so we'll get, we got two pallets of grapes here. That should get us in a really good spot here uh, for finishing out kind of our test here of cereal on the production chains. Uh, I'm gonna finish kind of squaring this up here. It'll make it easier to load, hopefully. We're gonna, I'm trying to think about the best way to get two of these pallets in here. I don't know, we're gonna struggle, especially because it's crooked. We may just uh, pile them on here and not worry about it too much. There we go. How we're gonna get that off, I have no idea. Or how we're gonna deal with this thing without an actual uh, front loader attachment to tip it back over, I don't know. I don't know, we'll figure it out here, let's try. Um, maybe I can bump into it to tip it over. I can't. Ugh, nope. Let's see, maybe I can. Oh, I missed it. Also, it's going to get dark here in a second if I don't stop the time. We don't need it to get dark on us just yet. Oh, that'll work. That's legit, right? So, uh, yeah, farm sim physics, still a thing, still a thing. If you were worried about the memes going away, we're, we're safe. We're still going to have some, uh, some fun times in farm sim. The bloopers will be real. There we go. See if I can just drop him like that. Totally legit. Regular driving. Yeah, exactly. Oh, come on, I strapped it down. One second. Apparently it didn't want to be strapped down when it was sideways. At least if when it fell off, it could have tipped back over the right way, you know? Done me a favor. All right, I'll see if I can uh, use the side of the truck bed to tip this back over. Let's see what we got. I do enjoy that I can stab it through like this, though, and pick it up. At least I've got an option. I was uh, kind of worried I was going to be just completely out of luck. All right, so I'm going to catch it on the back there. No, nope, it doesn't like to be tipped. Stop, 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 stop. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, you had to roll back over. Ah, oh, we got it. All right. Now I need to load this on the long way. See if I can find a good view for this. Nope. There we go. All right, we did it, folks. We're getting a pallet. And squeezing it in here. We are so not lined up, it's not even funny. All right, we'll back up and try again. There we go, that's looking a little better. All right. Now let's strap this down. That looks better. Can you narrow the forks? That's a good question. Let me uh, let me check. I didn't see an option for that, but I don't always look at the option. Yeah, the funny music, the circus music starts playing. Um, all right, here, let's see. So I've got left and right as tip, up and down, and then I have, oh, I do have a fork narrowing option. Would you look at that? And I can move it side to side as well. Lots of options on this forklift. Well, now we'll know for next time. Uh, uh, uh. I guess the other question is, is can I just put this, uh, the back of this truck right into the tip point and not have to unload them? That would be convenient, but uh, doubtful. So 
we'll test that out here and see what happens. Do, do, do. We're definitely uh, putting this truck through its paces. Making sure the suspension works, popping all these curves, driving in the ditch. We've still got this tractor blocking the road over here, so we'll cut through the parking lot here. All right, let's see. Let's see if this is going to work. Oh, it is. Look at that. That was super convenient. So that gives us not that much more honey, but a bit more. And we'll uh we'll run the clock here. I'll skip the I'll skip through the night so it makes some more and we'll see what happens. If I can find my house, visit sleep is there weight option on the pick as well on the pickup um no i don't think so because that's technically not a normal capacity so since it doesn't have any capacity i don't think the weight thing works back up to the point release the straps and floor it yeah michael exactly i've done that before i did put the four ways on the tractor this time i did Ah, uh, so here's the uh, flashing issue that we had uh, in the last stream as well with the uh, frost. And so I've reported this one up to Giants. I know a couple other people have run into the same thing. Um, this happens when you get the snow in the frost layer. So I kind of expect snow to pop in here, but it's got like kind of that hazy white sheen to it. Um, and then the fields are a little bit uh, freaking out here, so... Let me write down a timestamp here again, uh, 158, so that I can pass that or update my ticket with Giants. Uh, 158 in live stream flickering issue. And so that's one of the other, you know, cool parts about being part of the early access is that there's, you know, a bunch of different issues and known, um, known issues and new issues. And uh, when you sign up to do early access, they ask you to report those out to them. And so I've been working with Giants on a couple of small things that we found. So I'm going to make sure I save the game here. I think I just did. We're going to quit. We got to quit all the way out real quick and come back in. And that issue will be resolved. So this is always a good test. I like to show off like um, I'm going to double click on FS22 now. And we will be right back into the game. Lickety split. It loads extremely fast. And we're already loading the game up here. And so from a desktop to in the game playing on FS22, it's, I don't know, even know how to measure how much faster. So um, it, it doesn't take more than, you know, 30 seconds or so here to jump all the way back into the game, load things up and uh, be playing. So... I've been very impressed with load times in general. Time to buy a forklift for the unloading spot. I do have a forklift uh, over there, I think. <clears throat> you can always back, or I got that one. Can you uh, check under miscellaneous equipment? I think there's two pallet auto loading trailers. Um, that would be interesting if there's some auto load trailers. Let me dump this corn in just to get this tractor out of the road. And then I want to figure out how we get the material out of this factory as well. You tip side left. So I was kind of expecting to see some pallets here um, from our cereal factory. Cereal factory has stopped because we ran out of honey again. Maybe we just haven't gotten to the appropriate uh, um, amount here. So that's also an option. We may just need to bring a whole bunch more honey up here. And so I'm going to park this thing kind of out of our way here. And then uh, somebody wanted to look at the trailers under miscellaneous. Um, we do have the Profi Liner, um, which I believe is designed to move some of the 
um, food items and stuff around. And so maybe we just need to back this up and into that space and it'll load into this. I'm not sure. Um, we can buy one and try it out here. Um, I think we just haven't made enough product, though, to do anything with it yet. Um, ba -bum. Can you talk about where you loaded your game on your system? You have an SSD, but not a huge one, and an HDD is where you, you'd prefer. So, for me right now, I have the game installed on my C drive, which is an SSD drive. Um, but I have a separate drive, which is much faster that I prefer to install my games on. So I'll actually be moving my game on Monday when the official version of the game comes out. I have a, a I forget what it's called now, one of those super fast onboard uh, SSD type cards. The M MCI, I don't know. Uh, but that's where I put all my games usually. And so I'll be moving mine. Uh, and so this is on what I would say is a re regular run-of-the-mill SSD drive. Um, not an incredibly fast one. Um, and it seems to be working great. Does it say in the help menu how to get the pallets out? I didn't see, uh, like it didn't say in the F1 menu. And the actual help screens for production systems are um, not in the normal help system. So... Let me go grab a, or bring this back up by the uh, honey here, and we'll open the menu up again real quick. Maybe I'm just missing it. Boop, boop, ba -doo. So when we're in here, there's no help button on this screen anywhere. And if we come down here into the help screen, we've got you know, help on the crops. We've got help on snow and the crop calendar. I have animal help. I have forestry help. I have some basic help on some of these other items here. Um, but there's nothing on the production systems in here other than it's a way to make money. And so there, was, there wasn't really anything terribly useful there. And when I had the F1 menu up while I was moving around over there, nothing really popped up. Have I tried? I haven't done sorghum yet. No, I have not. Oh, we didn't get a great grab on that, but we're going to go with it anyway. I'm kind of surprised it's so little honey for such a bulky object. Like there's a... And maybe that semi that you mentioned is able to haul these too, because hauling these up on a normal trailer one pallet at a time is uh, going to be somewhat uh, painful. See if all oh, my forks are tipped a bit. There we go. Get on there. Ooh, we're getting the pickup off of the ground when we do that. Nope, I can't seem to get it shoved in there anymore, so we'll go with that. I think you need a truck, that soft sided flat deck to haul the honey. Yeah, exactly. Let's uh, go to the store here and grab this semi trailer and see if that's going to work out a little better for us. I'm going to leave this thing out of the way. So when we come back up here with a semi-truck, we can try it out. Uh, I'm going to need a semi-truck to go with it. So we'll grab one of these real quick. And let's see what this does. What about the van? Is there a van? This is the, there's a box trailer. I didn't see a van anywhere, but maybe I'm not in the right category yet. Oh, there's my depth perception being off yet again. Let's uh, pop open the F1 menu. I'm kind of curious. Curtain left front. I can open side curtains. Oh, look at that. That's kind of neat. So I could uh, 
forklift them up into here, it looks like. We'll just leave that open. I can open the back door at the same time. We forgot to latch our doors. They're flapping open while we're driving down the road. Oh, we should come in this side so that we can face the pallets. But yeah, I don't think this is going to uh, auto-load these up for me, though. Let me try and uh, maybe get closer to one of these pallets. Like, I think I'm going to have to forklift them in here. So I'm pretty close to this, and I'm not getting any anything to, like, load the pallet up in here. So, we are going to, uh, we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. I got to get off of the beehive first, though. Oh, we pushed a button on our steering wheel. Now we've got all the wonky controller commands. All right. Hey, it's Toby Neal. Good to see you, man. All right, let's get these two pallets on. It'll work a little better than the back of the pickup at least, but uh, I was really, really hoping for auto load like uh, somebody mentioned. Would have been nice. My dog is going ballistic upstairs right now. I'm not sure what his problem is, but he is uh, not a happy doggy. I don't think anybody's home, so that means there's somebody in the yard, most likely. Well, I guess the curtains open on both sides of this trailer, so it would be easy to get, you know, things loaded up here better than the pickup, I suppose. I'll be curious to see if I, um, I have to unload them when I get there, if they'll... If they're going to be able to auto get out of this trailer into the loading point. So this will be a good test for that, I suppose. There we go. Definitely not quitting my day job to become a forklift operator. We're all strapped down here. I'm going to be uh, lazy and start driving here while we figure out the curtains. Close curtains. Need to use the landscape tool and build a dirt ramp, then just drive them onto the trailer with the small forklift. That would be interesting. I got caught up on the curb here. There we go. You place a weather station down. I haven't seen the weather station uh, placeable. Let's, is that a uh, something in the build menu here? Or are you asking if they exist? Because I haven't seen anything around weather stations. I've seen that you've got some wind turbines. But uh, I haven't seen anything around a weather station in the uh, setup. Oh, we do have a weather station. Improves the weather forecast available to your farm. Well, that looks cool. Let's toss one of those down right there. Now let's see what uh, our weather forecast looks like. It looks like it's probably maybe a little bit more. I would have had to do a before and after here. Um, I've got wind, direction, and speed, temperature, weather. It's hourly. That's a big trailer for two pallets, exactly. Night Fury, I didn't see one. We've been into that menu a couple of times. Let me get this honey up there and we'll uh, dive back into that menu and see if I'm missing something. What about the refrigerated trailer? It does uh, seem to have any doors per se. I haven't seen the refrigerated trailer. This is the trailer that's in the buy menu. The large solar panel moves to get proper sunlight. Yeah, that w that's cool. Yeah, I don't think it was hourly before. I think it had a handful of uh, 
chunks out of the day like I think it wasn't as fine-tuned. All right, let's see if we can actually get this semi into the cereal factory here. We don't have a lot of room. Who would put their power generation or the power substation thing right here next to the pull-in for semis? Like, you're just begging me to uh, run that over and cause a power outage. My goodness. Oh, there we go. It loaded all of those grapes up. And I guess maybe if I pull forward a little, we'll get the other ones. Uh, maybe I just need to back it in. There we go. There we go. All right, I'll get this semi out of the way. Or let's, uh, we got the semi here. Can I, I don't get like any kind of a fill from the store. So I'm going to pull it out of the zone here. We're going to come stand here, so nothing outside of manage production point when I walk around here. So there's not like a spawn pallets option. So I'm going to hit R. We're in cereal now. And I'm thinking that I just don't have enough cereal made. That's why we brought some more honey over here. Um, I'm hoping that as we get closer to a thousand liters of cereal, I'm guessing that that's going to be my magic point. How much the forestry land costs? Sure, well, let me uh, speed up the time here so we can get our cereal being made. And let's take a quick look at the map while that's going. So the forestry land is this section up here. This costs a little over a million dollars. And then I believe all of these sections with uh, trees you could technically buy and cut down. Um, but I think these are also some forestry sections here. Um, but they come with fields, right? So you've got to kind of, you know, think about which areas of the map you want. But I know these are forestry sections, and I think these are forestry sections that are already pre-made. There's another section up here that's forestry that's like almost a half million. Um, so there's a few spots on the map here. I do have a gear shifter, Justin. Um... I've got the G920 or G29 um, set up, so I've got both the shifter and the force feedback steering wheel. So we have cereal. We've got sweet wheat, chalk loops, happy hoops. Kind of cool. Definitely not ripping off any uh, standard brand uh, styles there on those boxes. And so, yeah, we're in storing mode right now. And so we are going to keep that here, or it's going to put it out on the uh, in a pallet there. I think if I were to change the mode to distributing, um, it wouldn't put the pallets out here. It would just store it internally until it could distribute it to another place. Um, I don't think cereal distributes to anything else, though. I'm not sure. Um, refrigerated trailers and miscellaneous equipment... Oh, maybe I just missed it when I saw the uh, uh, curtain trailer. Oh, the little tiny thing here? Yeah, I haven't done anything with that. I guess I was just using this. Uh, yeah, we know what brands those are. Yeah, I can, pro I can sell it. I just don't know that uh, distribution to me says moving it into a different um, production chain and uh, selling would just sell it straight up. So if we look at um, desktop. So if we look here, cereal is like the end of a chain. And so there's nowhere, there's nothing to distribute cereal to after you get to the cereal part of the chain. And so, you know, whereas, you know, something like um, the sugar goes, you know, into the biogas plant or the sugar mill, and then the sugar mill, the sugar cubes can go here and here, um, you know, and then that can go some, you know, 
well, actually, cakes are the end of a chain as well. But, you know, distribution would be going from one chain to the next chain where, you know, you could also just sell it straight up. So that's how that's my understanding of it, at least. Um, we'll have to do some more playing with it here. So. So with that, we have successfully gone through and created our first product through a multi-production chain uh, setup. Um, taking the raisins or t making raisins from grapes and then making cereal from all of those combined components. Uh, and so that's, I believe, kind of a full overview of the production system setup and how that's going to work out. Uh, I'm really enjoying this. I think uh, I think that the modders are going to be able to do a lot with this functionality. Um, to me, this is going to be you know, one of the ways that you could leverage to set up, you know, corn to dry corn and things like that without having to, you know, really muck up with the way the game kind of works and stuff. It'll be a lot cleaner, I think, and you can still have a product that comes out of it. So um, should be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Farms 13 Precision Farming is going to be available at some point next year. They haven't given an exact date yet, but uh, I believe they said in the first half of the year. So, so very cool. Um, I think for today, we're going to wrap up this live stream at this point. We've done what we set out to do tonight. We're going to dive into, I think, a little bit of miscellaneous farming, um, try out some different things. I've got a lot of requests from people on Discord and other channels um, coming into me of things that they'd like me to show off. If there are specific things, that person walked right through me. Um, if there are specific things that uh, you would like to see, feel free to leave a comment in the description of the video. Uh, jump on the Discord server, let me know what you're thinking. And um, yeah, we'll see you again tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And we'll, we'll dive into some things. I've got some modders that are sending me links to things that they want me to try out. So maybe we'll try out a few more FS19 conversions here in the stream tonight if uh, we can make that happen. However, that's going to be all for this live stream. That's all for now. Ketterk out.